रिस्पेक्टेड स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सो टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट द पावर बी एफ प्रोजेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दो विच आर आस्ट रिलेटेड टू पावर बी आई आवर प्रोजेक्ट विच वी हैव शोन इन योर रेज्यूमे दो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक और एक्सप्लेन टूडे प्रॉपरली सो फ्यू डेज बैक ओनली टू डेज बैक ओनली आई हैव रिटर्न वन पोस्ट एंड टोल्ड अराउंड ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू प्रोजेक्ट so many people many our subscribers said that please come with the video so detail i am going to uh, explain all the answers for the question okay so before starting the video if you are new on our channel make sure you are subscribing and pressing bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media especially instagram okay so see uh, this post i have written so this post is in front of me so the first question which uh, is really is asked related to your project is what was your data source okay so see this is the most important question so what was your data source uh, for your project so mostly see for a power bi project three data source are there mostly used the first is sql which you know the second is snowflake and the third one is azure in which azure databricks is there okay let me repeat it again the first is sql the second is snowflake and the third is azure databricks now coming to flat files excel okay the, those who are learning power bi or from any institute so while doing course they teach you from excel na so excel is not directly used as a data source in real time project excel files are dumped into the sharepoint and from there you fetch it but as a data source the top 3 data source are sql snowflake or azure databricks so this you have to tell you and when it comes to import mode mostly sql snowflake is there and for live connection azure databricks is there and for direct query directly uh, power bi data sets which are there semantic model so from there also you can fetch so coming to second question what time schedule refresh happens see for the schedule refresh timing uh, let's say <clears throat> if your client is from us okay so mostly 6 pm indian time they log in so at 5 pm indian time let me tell you from my previous past projects so our client used to log in at 6 6:30 pm indian time so at 5 pm we used to do schedule refresh okay and coming to indian client if at 8 or 9 am he is logging so at 5 6 am we used to do refresh so that at morning when he is checking the report he should have all the updated numbers and even subscription uh, that mail which is there that used to go okay so these are the some of the and some of the see at late night also uh, refresh happens and if data set is uh, like you want 3 to 4 times refresh then for every 2 to 3 3 hours you do refresh like at 12 pm 3 pm 6 pm also that is done okay coming to third question tell us important kpis used in the project see when it comes to kpi kpi is not uh, when they are asking you what are the important kpis they are not asking the kpi visual okay many people get confused they are not asking kpi visual they are asking kpis the measures which you have made in the project key performance indicator so the kpis are like ytd sales okay then total sales total revenue total profit market value okay then mtd then uh, previous to uh, sales last year to sales current year uh, comparison what you show in line chart so these are the 6 to 7 important kpis which are there okay so you have to tell those kpis or whatever you, in your project which are used those you have to tell but time intelligence related kpis so definitely those are there coming to uh, next question ha uh, project domain see project domain let me tell you one thing there are five top project domains uh, for power bi project investment that is finance second is insurance theek okay? hai the third one is health related the fourth one is fmcg and the fifth one i would say e-commerce or logistics okay so these are the five top domain projects see i have worked with many clients i have seen the, these five projects only and in us political data is there like uh, on political data also people are working but in india political projects are not there as compared to us so the top five are finance uh, which is investment second is insurance fmcg Uh, logistics and health pharmacy theek okay? hai 
coming to the fifth duration of the project see average duration of the project is around 1.5 years from my experience i am telling the project can be of 6 months also yes it can be the project can be of 2.5 years also when sow or msc is signed that time the duration of project is decided even it can get extended to one quarter only one quarter okay but the average project duration as far as what i have seen is 1.5 years okay so this you can tell in your project whatever it might be you can tell that also but uh, if you have to really give genuine answer then 1.5 year is the perfect answer team size in the project see for a power bi project there are 10 to 12 people one scrum master one project manager one data architect one bi architect two to three data engineers okay then three to four uh, no, two to three data engineers two to three uh, power bi developers and one qa and two business analysts i would say one or two qa and one or two business analysts so like this 10 to 12 people are there again i am repeating one scrum master definitely who is going to handle jira azure devops whatever project management tool is there one project manager is there compulsory one bi architect one data architect okay then two three data engineers two three power bi developers two business analysts on one or two qa okay so this is the team size like 10 12 people are there Coming to volume of the data, see whenever they are asking volume of the data, na, never tell the uh, rows of dimension table. Volume of the data is like if you are having fact tables, two fact tables and if it is having 3-4 million rows then definitely tell about the number of rows in fact table. Everyone knows that in dimension table location and all those things are there so 100 to 100 rows will be there. If customer uh, dim table is there then 2-3 lakh rows will be there max I am saying but volume of data is like number of rows in fact table whether it is 2 million 5 million 10 million whatever it is so when they are asking the volume of the data tell the number of rows in fact table and the columns also you can tell the number of columns then coming to schema used in project see it again depends on which schema like if one fact table is there then definitely star schema will be only used if uh, two fact table then snowflake schema Again, if your data is more than, uh, you can say that uh, Snowflake schema is there and if your data is less than star schema was used. So whatever, it, uh, it depends on all the various things, uh, you can tell star schema or snowflake schema. But Galaxy schema, fact consultation is not used in uh, our real time project. And if many to many relationship was happening, then you have created one bridge table to dissolve, to destroy that many to many. And then with that bridge table, you have connected other two tables. Okay. Number of tables in modeling. Again, it depends on uh, star schema, snowflake schema. If star schema is there, then four to five table where one fact table is there. And if snowflake schema, I would say more than 10 tables, you should tell. Okay. And the custom tables which you have created, the enter data table, which we tell, which we say, that also you have to add in that modeling because it is the part of modeling. Okay. So it depends. Most important roles and responsibilities. See, as a power bi developer, what was your roles and responsibility? So, see, uh, I will tell you my roles and responsibility. Even I have to connect with the client, understand the requirement with business analyst. That is my role. Uh, even I have to create it, create the BRD with business analyst. See, uh, I am little bit having senior position, so I have to do. But as a two three years of experience, you just have to create the power bi report and demo that report to client. You will fetch that uh, view or tables from SQL, whatever it, your data source was there. You will create Power BI report in dev environment and in prod environment. Deploy that, publish that demo to the client. Uh, we'll take the issues raised by QA team, UI related issues, data related issues or performance related issues. Okay. And then uh, you will solve that. So these are your roles and responsibility as a power bi developer, but I am having little senior position. So I am doing data engineering work also, BA work also, QA work also and my primary work is of power bi. Okay. So these are our roles and responsibility. Even you can say you have scheduled the mail, you have, you have uh, even set the alerts. Okay. Even configured the gateway, even migrated from dev to prod, even additional values you have provided created majors and modeling all those things you can tell whatever you have done in power bi which license you had in bi service so see only two licenses are used mostly in real time work whether it is pro or ppu ppu means premium per user okay so for 
pro i would say see if your data is not more and import mode you are using and uh, also capacity is not that much use so pro is fine but if your data is more and uh, you have to publish the file up to 10 gb and all those things then ppu license is used even that capacity and all those things are there so on that also uh, your license is also uh, decided at the start of the project but mostly pro is only used i would say 70 80 percent and then uh, ppu and in pro eight time refresh and all those things are there you know so it depends how many reports created in a year see i will tell how many reports around 18 to 20 reports you can create in a year if your team is having two to three power bi developers one report is created in dev and prod environment okay so for every three weeks of sprint one sprint is of three weeks for every three weeks of sprint okay uh, like two reports are done or max if big report is done one report is, uh, then one report is only created but in a year you would say 18 to 20 or you can say 15 to 20 but not alone when two two to three power by developers were there in a team and for one report it was not only of one page that one report of was of two to two three pages also you can say like that also correct how handle performance wise of pbx file uh, see for performance wise see there are many points i would say uh, so you have faced only two three years of data which was required you have removed the columns when data came from client so in uh, backend only you loaded while creating view only you loaded which is required or in power bi also you took uh, tables which was required only two three years of data was used then star schema you went with even you do uh, you did realignment of reports that you can tell then while creating measures you used uh, variables okay then one landing page was used and two three pbx file were inserted into that so that load will not come even you uh, didn't went with bookmarks but went with page navigation for performance wise and all those there are many things i would say even you were checking uh, with performance analyzer which usually is taking more time even concurrent users performance testing you have done like four or five people were uh, clicking on that report at a time and then checking uh, how much time it is taking to load so like this uh, things you have done like uh, even you created lake house from fabric and then you fetch that rather than going with power by semantic model even you created data flow you can say even you did grouping of the data there are many i would give 20 25 points for this uh, performance wise because i have worked on this so much for two three months back to back so there are many points we would say like uh, even you created summarized table like if one table was there and 12 13 measures were used uh, regularly then locking conflict issue is coming so you created a summarized table like this calculate table was created many things are there you can tell that uh, you avoided circular dependency you avoided many to many relationships and created mapping table so these are the many things which you uh, do for performance wise so coming to next question then most difficult scenario in the project is see related to data only okay this is the most uh, that data was not proper then we updated and uh, unstructured data was there then later on it was converted to structure and many issues were there so difficult scenarios are related to uh, project are related to data only and some of some of the advanced level or requirements which are there those are uh, really advanced so that time you are not understanding or you can say then you connected with senior or uh, you checked on youtube google chat gpt and all those things so these are the difficult scenarios like one of my scenario little i will explain that my data was from 2020 and in my date column only i was getting data of 2013-14 so this is the issue currency related issues were there okay so these are some of the difficult uh, scenarios so what you learned from projects so this is the last question see this question is not asked uh, mostly even when i take interview uh, that time also i about this question but learning related to you should tell about power bi and project domain so you should tell that this project was related to for example insurance then i have learned many things about the insurance domain how or fmcg like sell in sell out is there related to investment financing stock equity so when this question is asked what you learn about project then you should go with 60 40 where 60 percent you should tell about the power bi related work and 40 percent you should tell about 
the project domain what you have learned so in power bi also you can tell that in modeling i have learned that ui related i have learned switching bookmarks and all those things bindas you can tell whatever you have learned that you can tell uh, whatever your learnings ठीक है सो दीज वाई द फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन मोस्टली फोर टू फाइव क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट अमॉंग दीज फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन इन द इंटरव्यू बिकॉज ओनली थर्टी मिनट्स इज देर एंड फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स ओनली प्रोजेक्ट रिलेटेड डिटेल डिस्कशन इज देर ओके सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑल द क्वेश्चन सो इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो मेक श्यूर यू लाइक एंड शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस बैल अकाउंट फॉर आउट कम वीडियो एंड द बेस्ट थिंग इज दैट आई हैव केम ऑन टॉप मेट ओके एंड You can book my session one on one there. Okay? Thank you, everyone.